So here's yeah. another interesting insight. Co- uh, Cody Co is doing a podcast with these guys, Josh and Lucas. I don't know who they are, but they were talking about the Seth pranks when it happened a few years ago, and these kids were so insightful, and they called it pranks. He out. pulled on Seth. They called it out for what? what? It was. Which one? No. Wow, these guys. Which are one? Really it's actually smart. the most insane shit I've ever seen in is my it, entire life. It, it's it the real? most is it insane. Pr- yes, it's real. Wait, Jason How pulled so? a prank? No, uh, David on his friend, oh. buddy Seth. Wait, you know, no, have you? Re- is you know, is you Seth seen- the guy they make do stuff? Uh, no, I don't think. They make like him jump off of stuff and hurt him. No, no, no. That's Jonah, I think. I don't like how they treat that guy. Yeah. Wow. I, I, don't, I haven't From really watched oh any God, of those whoa. ones. I, the I ones I've watch. seen, the ones I've seen are I've the ones, they make Jason make out with Seth, but Seth doesn't know that it's Jason. He thinks it's Wait, like what? a girl. Yeah, it's, hap- it's happened twice, okay? Yeah. And so, and That's every time, I know, every is time, Seth, like, Jason will, like, take, or something or J- like, no, he's okay. not. And so, like, Jason will take off his mask or whatever, and he's like, what the fuck? I wait, like, like I they meet out with a dude. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, like wait, wait, okay, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, wait, 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 what the whoa, fuck? Whoa, whoa, like, wait, they whoa, actually whoa, make whoa, out? Whoa, whoa, yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's fucking Cody, fucked Cody, up. Cody, 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 Cody. Just, just wait, just Cody, wait, wow. just wait until you hear Dude, what. like, what is the prank? It's like, it's like, yo, uh, uh, you know. You question your sexuality yet? You know who you are, bro. That's fucking I love you. You know, are they? I went to this party, and, you know, this girl, she seemed really into me. And, uh, and she came to me, she said, hey, let's go in the back room. And I, and I was like, yeah, awesome. And we were and making there, out. She, she turned off Things the were getting hot and heavy. She, you know, she turned off the lights, you know, and, my, and she goes, stick it in. And her, her voice was a little bit deeper, but I, you know, and, and then they the, turned lights the lights went on. And, and it was fucking, Jason Nash. And David came out with a camera. And I was, and Jason turned around with my dick in his ass and said, what are you, fucking gay? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I, and I, you got pranked. <laughs> bro, you got pranked, bro. You so, got pranked, bro. Oh so this God. was two years ago. These kids. Wow. And so I was like, wow, people have been noticing this shit for a long time. That's amazing. Because sometimes I, sometimes I get, I get my head a little bit. I go, is my just overreacting? Same, you know right. what I know? People are like, Trisha's bitter. I'm like, I'm like okay, so, yeah. But I don't think so. Anyway, wow. just to give, this is, um, and these Josh are like young and kids. Lucas Ovel. I don't know who they are, but with but Cody they're like Co. young in the David Dobrik age range. So like, it's like good that they're not. Yeah, like, I was, I was like, oh my god, these kids rule. Oh my, you know what my prediction is is Jason will be the next eliminated from the group. So you know how you think so? You know how Scott was saying like, you know what? When people go their own way or they fuck up and they do something wrong, we distance ourselves from them. Jason's in way too deep. No, but now because Jason's getting like he's he's at the heat of this right with David, of course. But you David, he's going to sacrifice Jason for, for the he already good. is. When you watch their podcast, like I used to listen to their podcast, and, and Jason was co-host. Now he's literally not involved at all. They Doesn't could just they word. could just wheel his ass out, and people wouldn't notice. It's just like I think it's one of those things where it's like you know I when, don't know. I feel like that would rock people too hard. They're slowly doing it. The, the thing po- is, because it's no longer Jason's podcast; it's David's talk show, and they're slowly doing. I saw it because it happened with me. You, they slowly do it, so it's not obvious. Like he's like a dying old horse that you don't want to shoot because it's a horse, but at the same time, he's in misery. He's in. We're pain. gonna turn you his gotta, ass like, to glue. It's expensive, right? Semen is expensive, not glue. We had this debate before. The, <laughs> but horse the semen, semen makes the glue. No. Okay. No. That's a different kind of glue. He's, a, but he's just I'm, a dying old horse that just needs to get off. Well, I'm wondering what is their next step going to be? Are they just going to ignore, keep ignoring? I can't believe they... Okay, this in this situation, they should have probably just ignored because it. Because I was wondering if Scotty <laughs> was going to erase the video. and like Because I, I feel like Scotty's getting so much shit now that I know what that feels like, and it's just horrible. No, he's like posting on a story like normal. Everyone's just oh, like posting, is. and David too. Everyone's just like posting like nothing. Like, oh, it's just a video. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, yeah, James Charles is acting like nothing. He just posted a video, and that dude just literally just got outed for being a pr- literal child predator. Literally, he said, yes, I sent nudes, but he lied about his age. Literal child predator. L- like, should this guy should be in jail, and he's still posting videos like nothing, and the overwhelming reaction to the videos is, like, uh, all good. No problem here. It just reminds me of the Woody Allen shit that I'm watching. Right, right. You know, there's no fucking accountability. Ah, uh, it's so sad. It's just so gross. And then meanwhile, Chris Del- Delia hides for like a year and then he comes out and all of a sudden now he's like back in like j- like getting in trouble or whatever. It's just like, how- it, it is a guy <laughs> thing. Oh, excuse me. Bless you. You keep saying it, but it does suck. I feel bad for guys. I hate know? that. Listen, I say that and I don't mean to say that because I don't want to make it sound like female victims or have it easier or something like are they all female victims go through the same exact thing as male victims all this stuff all this character assassination all these fallacies we talked about victim shaming victim blaming and stuff like the same stuff they're doing to seth but 
I, I, don't, I don't even want to keep harping on that because I feel no, bad. No, but I'll tell you what, in that in that same, like, on that same note, like, David on the podcast and in vlogs have asked Corinna and Natalie both, like, how much money to have sex with Jason? Like, he'd be like, I'll pay you $100,000. He's like, no, that's not enough. Really? And he's like, how much? Half a million? They're like, no, that's not enough. So it's like, he's asked girls, he's paid, he said to girls, like, I'll pay $300 to make out with Jason. And they say no. So if the, they're saying that, like, with consent, right? Girls, like, saying no. It's like, but the, you have to trick, like, a man in the group to do it. It's like, and if it was Scott, I guarantee you Scott would have knocked somebody out because Scott has an anger problem and he, like, knocks people out. Like, he's always, like, fighting people. There was a good vlog of David's where like it was Todd's fight and Scott got punched this is like the, the equivalent of that like this is the exact same thing where it's like not his fight but he's getting like the knockout which honestly he deserves it because he's dumb like he's so stupid like just, um, the, just everything about it oh Scott's an idiot so your music career has failed so you don't maybe you're bitter maybe that's why you're coming for stuff come for me Scott what's come going on? for me I want to show you're this. bitter you signed a record label. No one's heard of it. No one watched your last music video. Your clothing line failed. You're, he tried to be a fanjoy, which was so stupid because David Dobrik has like, in, but he tried to be a fanjoy by making people's merch. Mm -hmm. Failed. You know why? Because you never sent shit. I ordered from there. I never got my merch. You never got the shit you ordered No, from? I don't even know what it was called. It was oh. called some shit. It was it, you, shitty. All your career things are shitty. Your CBD oil is shitty. That's not a new thing you're starting. This investment on Dispo doesn't are look like it's turning sure out in your favor. Is I don't, I'm not sure that this is the point we're trying to make. It's not a point. I just have a reason now I can go off on Scott because he's always mm. been a piece of shit too. Like he was nice Got to it. me, but piece of shit in the background. You know what I mean? I've seen him treat, like, you know, just be a piece of shit overall. He's just so condescending. He thinks he's so cool. Mm. The girlfriend you have now looks like the girlfriend you had for four years and you dumped her and then found this girl right away. They look identical. What'd you do? Interchange oh, them? Okay, Scott? all right, all right, all right. Come on. It's not personal. And his hair is frosted tips. You're like, oh, that's his natural hair. It's not. It's frosted tips. It's frosted tips. Scotty's okay, not your okay, hair. Okay. <laughs> Mine's natural. Unlike Your mine, tattoos it's natural. suck. Okay, all right, all right. The Cheshire cat's not cute. Who are you trying to appeal to, children? Okay, all right. All your girlfriends look it's young. Not the point What's your thing? It's not necessarily the point. How about check your friends who dated 17 year olds? Not even Brandon, okay, someone else in the group. Right. Okay. Watch this video. So I don't know if you. Ugh, David. I hate Scott. Okay. Oh my God. Ugh. I didn't expect we'd talk about this so much. I don't care about it, but whatever. Um, Corinna. The girl, she, I guess, replaced you as, like, the... She was before me, I think. Okay. Yeah. So... She stayed. She stuck around. I'm getting Nexium vibes from David because... What's Nexium? It's this cult with David or Kevin... What was his name? Anyway, he was a cult. HBO did a whole documentary about it. It was really interesting. Mm. He would brand his initials on people. Oh, right? okay. So I'm getting... So yep. watch this clip of... Ow. Corinna comes to him a long time ago and says, I need a couple hundred bucks. She was a waiter at the time. And David says, I'll give you a couple hundred bucks only... If you tattoo David's vlogs <laughs> on your fucking oh finger, God. where it's visible forever. I uh, decided that I <laughs> kind of broke right now, so David said he'd help me out, and I'm gonna get a tattoo on my finger. <laughs> it's gonna say David's vlogs. <laughs> he's, pay he's paying me a small lump sum of money to do it. Two hundred bucks. What did I just do? You just promoted my brand for the next couple of years. Granted, what are you gonna do now with your new tattoo? Are you gonna show off to other people how stupid you are? David, like, dude, I did this and now you're going to call me stupid? Yeah. Jesus. So, Corinna, this is a perfect example of people not wanting something in a vlog and him paying them. So, Corinna, mm -hmm. this, this is on vlogs. Do you know the story? Of uh, her I, giving, not. like, head to Todd in the backseat of the Tesla, right? I have David know that filmed story. it. She goes, you can't use that. She didn't know he was filming. She goes, you can't use that. Hmm. So, he didn't. He's like, this sucks. Like, I can't use it. So, anyways, he had to, like, she, they, she, I think it's, like, $500 or $1,000. She's like, he goes, how can I use this vlog? She's like, no, I don't want it in the thing. He goes, how about if I pay you, like, $500? Obviously, she needed the money at the time. And she's like, okay, fine. And, like, didn't want it. But you have to, he, you have to, like, force someone to do something. It's not consent. Well, that's you have to, like, bribe someone to do something. Well, Seth like, said the same thing. He's like, I want you to, to take those videos down. And he says, okay, how much to pay you? And then Seth said, that's when I knew they weren't my friends because he just yeah. wouldn't take the videos down. He wanted to pay him instead of respecting the fact that those clips made him uncomfortable. He's taking all these clips down, but he still thinks he did nothing wrong by proving these texts, which actually proved not. It's just, it's just crazy, but yeah, it sucks. Um, so that's that pretty much. Mm. Well, good luck on Dispo. Peace and love. I wish you well. Happy success. Uh, I apologize.